Que pasa, Rasa? That's right, we're doing another video because the sun came out. And man, that really picks up my inspiration and my motivation. And when you got plants growing like comfrey here, which is a nitrogen fixer, and then we can take the leaves and feed the chickens, make a nitrogen tea to feed the plants with nutrients. Well, those are all great inspirations to showing you guys what's going on in the yard. And one of my biggest fans is Luciano King Wynn. And that's my nephew. And he wanted me to do a shout out to him. So we're going to take him along with us today. And we're going to show him and everybody else how to have an eco-friendly yard. With that being said, let's get started. Come on, Luciano King Wind. Let's go. So right here, we are spreading garlic and we got some catnip. And we like to do that on the borders to keep our pest away. It has a strong scent and smell. So that helps with our biodiversity. And we also like to plant herbs throughout the yard. So right here, we got some sage. And when I cut the grass, you guys will be able to see things a whole lot better. But right there is our sage. And then under our tree, I like planting our strawberries. And the more we spread our strawberries, as you can see, they're flowering. Well, we're going to get us some strawberries from each one of those flowers. And yes, we do let the dandelions grow. They're another one of that medicinal plants. So let's look at this tree. This tree grows tall. So it's gonna be an umbrella for the other plants and help us with the shade. And there, it's starting to bud, as you can see. So we're gonna get some nice foliage from that and that'll be some nice shade. And as you can see, the strawberries protected underneath and we got some lilies going as well. We also try to make this a border as well and that's where you see that comfrey. And right here, we have an apple tree. And that apple tree is gonna be under the big tree. Like I say, it's a canopy for it, so it'll help protect this tree. And that's what we're trying to do, is add biodiversity and have one plant protect the other plants. Because in the plant world, they stick together and they support each other and they make each other strong by picking each other up. So with that being said, like I said, the comfrey is a nitrogen fixer and we're spreading those strawberries, trying to make a border little by little. And that guy helps these guys grow with the nitrogen that's feeding the system into the ground. And right here we transplanted some hops. And that tastes like black licorice. And we have it right there with the strawberries again that's protecting. And it's helping the tree and the tree will protect it. So it's a singularity process. This border, I have mint down the line right here. And then I'm planting dahlias in between. And I'm trying to make a wall with the grapes. And we'll zoom in on that grape real quick. And I have one there, and I have one all the way down here. So we want those two to connect, and that's gonna make our wall. And then we're gonna be planting our bulbs, which are lilies, uh, dahlias, and tool ups and we'll keep going and we'll figure out some more to go and look at how it's starting to flower right now yeah and this is an indigenous plant right here it's oshayina and we use that for stamina for our lungs and we take the root and we make a tea and we can eat the leaves and it's part of the celery family as well we can cook with it Throw it in some of that stir fry that I love cooking on Sunday Fun Day. You guys need to check out those videos as well. And look, we just plant them all the way down the line. That's our border right there, you know. And we have snapdragons in here, strawberries, lilies, two different types of lilies. My little Hito Zach's baby shower, I got those. I showed you guys in the last video. And these ones I got from my neighbors. And these ones I'm just pulling out of over there. And they have been spreading every year. And once again, we got the strawberries under the tree. And as you can see, I got blackberries growing. And I cut the tips on them because you want the side shoots to spread. And that's where you're going to get your fruit. So 
So every year I take a little bit out of here, little by little, and then I spread them out throughout the yard. And that goes with the strawberries where we just came from. And I did try to spread the rose, but I think I might have killed. But only time will tell. And these are our lilacs that we planted this year. And once again, we're making that wall. We're trying to build this area so we can take the grass out and add food that we can eat. There's our time. We didn't do that well over the winter, but we're still working with it and we have faith. And then there's our rosemary. Strawberry spreading. Dahlia spreading. And look at our asparagus. And that's from last year. So that'll be our first year that that grew. And that's great for digging into the ground for the minerals. The roots dig deep. And this one is our peona. Some more of that osha. And then we got some sweet peas that I showed you guys that I planted about three weeks ago. They're starting to grow as well. We have mint in there as well. So Lucky Luciano, let's go look at the backyard. So these baby chickens are the new addition to our family. And that's Nuggy and Nugget. So they're going to be our future egg layers. And yes, they do do fine. So the predators took one of my fish this year and one of my chickens. And we're allowed to have six here in Adams County. Six chickens. And they took one of my white kois. So the predators have been really deep and really strong. And I don't know where the chickens are right now. Let's see. Chick, chick, chick. Chick, 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 chick. Chick, chick. Chick, 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 chick. And there's our four chickens. So that brings us up to par. Let's go check on Squirtle. I had him out and I let him roam around. And if, he, he's pretty quick, so you do got to be careful with him. There's Squirtle the turtle. I love you, buddy. And I took him out earlier and I made a video, but it didn't just come out right. I wanted to show you guys how to handle a snapping turtle and how to take him out. And he's been dormant over the winter. So right now, he's just chilling and enjoying the warmth. Now we got peppers and it's not Mother's Day. And one thing that we're grateful here is that we got a short growing uh, season and we get a great harvest. So these peppers, I'm gonna plant today, and not all of them because we have one more frost, and Mother's Day is the day of last frost. So, with that being said, we'll plant some of them, do an experiment, and if it gets cold, we'll cover them with some frost cloth and a five gallon bucket. And we're still working on our another tower of power, and I'll show you guys the other one because it's coming out great, and things are actually starting to bolt. So it is warm in the greenhouse. And as you can see, we've got strawberries, mint. These are our potatoes right here. Look at these guys. Ooh, we're waiting on them to flower and then we know that they're ready to be picked. And we got a rat uh, beet right here that the chickens attacked and it looks like it's about to go to seed. And we can always use the seed. And this greenhouse has gone through a lot of weathering. So I'm trying just to keep it up. And the mountains got snow, so we were lucky enough to get rain, but rain is heavy. And look at this. That's all water that's caught up. And I had to do that all day yesterday because it rained for 48 hours or longer. Well, we're gonna let Squirtle just go ahead and relax. And what he does is that his poop is the nutrients for the strawberries up here and we got to get on this because our strawberries are starting to come out they're starting to flower as you can see and we have our salary growing but we didn't fill this up all the way because we ran out of rock we ran out of money and we got to get some more lava rock and put it in there and we got to take this algae out and put plants there because the plants will cover it and not allow the algae to start growing but yes, the system is working. 
but of course I got to work on some things. It's a learning process. And our tomato has actually been, this tomato has been a tester and it's been in the greenhouse for two weeks. So we're going to get him in the dirt as well. And man, we love vertical gardening. Look at this. I mean, it's just amazing. And see, we're starting to bolt. So we're getting flowers. So that means we're going to get more seeds. And that means we're going to be ready to keep going on our successional gardening. And we can trim some of this and eat some of this, throw it in our salad. And we are a happy camper. Well, Luciano King Wind, this is our outdoor gardening. And we, like I was telling you about the strawberries, man, we just keep on spreading them. And we made another barrier, another wall for those guys. And there they are. Now let's dig in a little bit deeper and see what we got going on. Right there is romaine lettuce growing. And we got radishes growing. And we got some more lettuce over there, which is a leaf lettuce. And we're gonna pull some of that cardboard out. I mean cardboard. We're gonna pull some of that wood chip out because that's taking the nutrients from the ground. It's like a sponge, it'll absorb it. So we gotta get some of that out of there and add some more of our nutrients, like our compost tea and our comfrey tea. All of those are great right now for getting the garden started. Now let's go over here. We got some radishes. Look at all them radishes. We're gonna start spreading those out. We got some more barrage, which is another medicinal plant. And we got some radishes going. Look at that. Woo, doggy. Strawberries with flowers. And then look, we got some carrots, some more celery, some more osha, some more uh, onions, and garlic. So we're going to be eating good, little Luciano. And Luciano is one of my biggest fans. He's my nephew. And I just like giving him a shout out. Like I said, we just keep spreading these all over. We put them under the trees for protection. And as we've been transplanting in the grass area, we've been bringing it over here because we will release the chickens soon. And they'll get into that grass and they'll enjoy it. We also have some mint, another medicinal. Let's go over here to our other area. Now we keep on feeding this system. And as you can see, we add bananas, we add eggshells, and any type of food waste from our inside. And that helps to build our verma verma soil with the worm poop and the worms eat more mass than their body so yeah we got it growing on and there's some more of that comfrey and it's starting to flower so that means more seeds and look those seeds fall right here and we got volunteer plants and these ones are sunflowers as well so we're already on a head start look at the flower already it's starting to flower so wait till our next video and you'll see all them blooms. So we're always adding to our soil. We're always trying to cover it with plants. We're trying to keep it going. And this year we're gonna do better on successional garden, but it's always a learning process. And let me show you the eggs that we got from our egg layers just a little while ago. Woo doggy! So soon, we're gonna be making a Sunday Fun Day video. So stay tuned for that coming out. This video will come out and then that one will come out tomorrow. Well, Lucky, I'm gonna to have to let you go. Well, this is your boy Nonsense and I'm gonna be signing out. And I wanna do a big shout out to Lu Luciano King Wind. That's right, so keep, keep enjoying the videos. Like, subscribe, and share. And that goes out to all of you. I love all you guys. You guys are my fans. I love you guys. I love anybody that's watching, even if you don't subscribe. So with that being said, Fuego!